Hey guys, welcome back to Erin in Copenhagen. Today we're going to check out what a Danish farmer's market is like. One of the first things we did when we moved to Copenhagen was to find if there's any farmer's markets in the area. We eventually found this one called Koint Market, which means green market, where lots of different Danish farmers come to sell. The market itself travels around different locations around the city. Uh, this one today is in Nørrebro, so we're going to go have a look. I'm really curious to see the prices here, how they compare to our regular food shop in the supermarkets. So not only am I going to show you around a Copenhagen farmer's market, at the end of the video I'm going to do a little price comparison so you can see the prices here versus in a supermarket. Just to see if you can save some money shopping this way here in Denmark. Let's go have a look. wasn't huge. I think the farmers market scene, at least in Copenhagen, is still kind of growing. I know there's tons of farms in the countryside nearby that sell amazing produce, but coming from somewhere like London or even Canada, farmers markets are a huge part of the local scene, even within the inner cities. So I hope in the future even more markets like this will pop up in Copenhagen, because this one was kind of small compared to what we were used to. The market did have a bit of everything. There was fresh produce, meat, cheese, baked goods, and so on. And from what I saw, everything was organic. Plus, it's just nice being able to support the local community and small businesses like this. The market, I believe, runs from May to the end of October, but you can check out the Koit Markel Facebook page to see all their dates and locations. There was one cool thing I did get to try here that I've never tried before, which was mead. It's an alcoholic drink that's created by fermenting honey with water and sometimes various fruits, spices, grains, or hops. The ones I tried here were both fruit-based and are a local business run by these two nice guys who let me sample a couple of their flavors and answered a million of my questions. So let's head home and I'll show you what we bought. We ended up getting some beetroot, carrots, apples, a pumpkin, garlic, and of course a bottle of that delicious plum and honey mead from Melson or Peterson. So I need to go out and get some bits for dinner, um, so I'm going to go to the supermarket and while I'm there I'm going to do my little price comparison. So I'm going to find all the things that I bought at the farmer's market, I'm going to see how much they cost in the Danish supermarkets here just to see if shopping at farmer's markets could be a way to save money here in Copenhagen. To be honest, I already know that the quality isn't going to be the same as what you can get in the markets, um, but I'm just curious, so let's go have a look. I can't actually find any more than just carrots here. This is Bilka, it's meant to be like the biggest one in the area. Um, so I'm gonna go check out another store. Oh, I actually did manage to find these Hokkaido pumpkins. They're quite a bit cheaper here. I think I paid 30 for it at the market. But they don't look as nice as the ones that I got. Hello, okay, so I'm back and I am joined, as you can see, by one of our sausage dogs, Cherry, who's taking a nice nap on our couch. <laughs> so as I thought, the supermarkets were cheaper. I didn't realize how much cheaper they would be. 
Um, but to be honest, I don't really mind paying a little bit extra at the food market because the quality is just so much better. It's just, it's night and day. Um, and it's nice, like I said earlier in the video, to be able to support the local community, give directly to the farmers who are producing it rather than having a middleman. Um, and it's just a cozy way to spend, you know, a Sunday morning with your family or friends and planning what you can make that evening based on what you find. It's just, I, I love farmer's markets. So hopefully it is a growing scene here in Copenhagen. Quite market might be a little bit small now, but it does have everything that you need. So if you're in the city and you're looking for a farmer's market, definitely give them a try. Here are a couple of things we made with our farmer's market haul. Some oven roasted veggies and this pumpkin lentil curry. I'll put the recipe for this one down in the episode description. And of course, a couple of Huga evenings were spent enjoying our mead. Thanks so much for coming along today. Make sure you stop by my channel next week where I have the start of a very scary series of videos planned for you for Halloween. See you next time.